Hey y'all, welcome back to another Bright's is Right. Hopefully y'all having a great week so far. And hopefully y'all are ready to dive into some crazy creepy clips. I got a great set of them today. Hopefully y'all are ready for y'all's head to spin, rethink your reality. Y'all know all the above. But y'all know what to do. Go ahead and smash that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already so you do not miss out on any future content. And other than that, Y'all know what time it is. Let's go ahead and hop right in. Let's get it. Now clean that shit up. Oh my gosh. Venga, gran mal parido. Es que usted paga los bombillos en esta casa. Cuando usted paga los bombillos en esta casa, lo rompe. Look at how arm came straight out of the wall. ¿Qué tal este generado tras de que viva acá en esta casa? Rompe todos los bombillos. Eso no es gratis, men. ¿Madure? ¿Qué tal el hijo de su perra madre? Wow. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. All right, y'all. So, yeah, I know y'all are going to think this is just some flashing lights, some kind of music video, but it's not. So, it looks like some kind of poltergeist done flew in. It's flashing around and it's singing the freaking Sesame Street stuff. It's wild. Check this out. It's just on someone's ring freaking camera. Explain that. Rubber, rubber, you're the one. I wear you when I'm having fun. It's just wild how that, how either that camera can't pick it up or it's overworking it. I guess I, I don't know, man. That's just. You're awfully quiet, white girl. Bitches, please. You have to learn to share. Michael. I, mean, I was wondering, is this a, like an apartment complex? It looks kind of like a house. Maybe it's an apartment building. Someone left their doll outside. Battery's dead. I don't know. It looks like hell. Okay, watch this, y'all. This man, he called his boss asking him, why didn't y'all tell me they had a new employee, right? He constantly looking back, right? He talking to somebody, right? Just watch. This is creepy. Look, he's having a whole conversation with somebody, right? Saying that somebody came and he dapping that person off and everything. Now, See, look, y'all see when he dapped him off. Look what happened. He dapped him off. You see that shadow? And then the shadow goes over here and he pulling the chair out for him. He swear, he swear to God, he sat there and had a whole conversation with this person. He moved over talking to him and everything. Y'all better protect yourselves. Whatever that was wild. took advantage of him. What's up, dog? That's obvious. Nah, no, that's the ivory, bro. Damn. Ivory! Oh, shit! Hey, I, I was really thinking this looked like the Men in Black Alien. I think it said the first one. 
in his head or whatever. Or one of the good guys. Uh, I'll pop it up in a second. She's like, why does this look so fuzzy? Is this supposed to be new footage? I mean, unless they put a filter on it so they could take the video from somebody. I don't know. It's like, this is not the early 90s with one of those big block video cameras. It's what really bugs me. Wait, right there by the swimming pool? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I see. It's big, huh? And it's big. Oh, look at the sun. You see the sun blinking? Right there. It's right there. It's blinking like a light bulb, huh? It's right there. It's a light bulb. Yeah, that's not, that's, that's not normal. That's not normal. It's not normal? Hey, I know I was just talking to someone last night about the sun, you know, not being the whole 9 million miles away or whatever it is. Man, it's, it's just something to think about. Like, I mean, seeing it in front of the clouds. I don't know why it would be blinking like this, though, y'all. Even you know it's not normal. That's crazy. This makes you think. Wow. That's weird. Mm -hmm. huh? Look at the airplane. The airplane big. Mm -hmm, it's big. And look at the hail charger. Look at the hail charger. No, that's an airplane, not a helicopter. That's <laughs> cute. They're not cute. Hey, Your first NFL season and a All right, so this this bugged me too, y'all. I mean, you know, this quarterback, he's young, a rookie, getting some wins, setting some records, and first thing he does is thank God. And these mainstream channels are just cutting that stuff out. Check this out, y'all. Record-setting performance for you. What does this moment mean? First and foremost, I just want to give all glory and praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I mean, it's been amazing being in this city for as short as I've been, but the love that I've got, I've really just been doing it for Houston, man. People back home, I'm blessed enough being in the position I am and blessed enough to be playing at a high level right now. And uh, we got to just keep it going, but I'm super blessed. NFL season and a record-setting performance for you. What does this moment mean? I mean, it's been amazing being in this city for as short as I've been, but the love that I've got, I've really just been doing it for Houston, man. People back home, I'm blessed enough to be in the position I am and blessed enough to be playing at a high level right now. And uh, we got to just keep it going, but I'm super blessed. I don't know how that... Bugs me. I just don't know why that bone would be curved like that. I mean, maybe it's some kind of tusk. Stop the cap. <laughs> Crazy things caught on camera. This lady is walking her dog in this apartment building, getting onto an elevator, but she's not paying attention. And the dog is on a leash, but when she gets in, she doesn't bring the dog into the elevator with her. This is super dangerous mm -hmm. because the dog is going to get caught Inside the elevator right here, its leash is caught, so the elevator is going up, the dog gets sucked to the elevator, but this man comes over, is trying to rip off the collar of this dog. You can see the leash going up right there. The man is just trying to pry this off. He fortunately saves this dog's life. <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up! That's too much. Like, come on, people. And this is my video. I noticed something moving and I couldn't figure out what it was. Oh. It looked really eerie. It definitely wasn't a person. It was frightening to look at. Whatever this thing is, runs out of frame and seemingly 
disappears into thin air, only to briefly reappear moments <laughs> later, then vanish for good. That's weird. It looks like a very tall, dark figure up on stilts walking through the field, and I guarantee you there was no one on stilts anywhere. <laughs> And I never noticed anything. Everything was just normal. It was fine. And I'm looking at that off in the distance. I'm thinking, what is that? This is what a skinwalker can sound like. <laughs> a skinwalker has... Man, if someone's just setting up a Bluetooth speaker, getting all kinds of fun, setting up, you know... 10 meters away. <laughs> been known to mimic the sound of people. So you think that someone's in trouble, you go out to help them, and they can attack and kill you. Are you sure about that? They do this so that you let your guard down and you think nothing of it. You go to help someone and BAM! What do you think about this? Let me know in the comments below. Yo, I've heard this guy right here, Viktor Kravinikov. You're reading it right. Anti-gravity platform. He basically discovered, like, anti-gravity. And he even built a little platform machine I'm about to show y'all. The beetle's wings, they were said to have like a honeycomb shape. Anyways, look up here. Look above me in this paragraph. He built his anti-gravity plane and started flying by noiseless aircraft, which reached speeds of allegedly 1,500 kilometers per hour. Check out this video. All right, watch this. This is the wing, right? One of the wings floating. Now watch. They, got, they set the book on it. Look what it does. Pyrrhom. Keep watching. All right, this, he's dropping the wings on top of these. Look, you see it right there? It's just levitating, dude. It creates some kind of magnetic field. Or something like that. It's very, very interesting stuff. I'm fixing to show you all the platform that he went on. Here it comes, look. Look at that big old block right there. They're going to put it up. Boom. So y'all saw the power of those wings, right? So he took all the wings and he taped them to the bottom of this board right here. And he built him like a little scooter looking thing. It looks like a Swiffer mop kind of, but, you know, bigger. Anyways, that's, that's one picture. And then allegedly, that's him oh. levitating like three feet off the ground. Check out them handlebars, man. Anyways, allegedly he could go like a thousand miles an hour and some force field will go around him. I don't know if all that's true, man, but it's I'm, it's very, very interesting stuff. And they look at all the beetles, like the scarab and all that, and supposedly they got magical powers. Well, they, it could be tied into that, but I don't know. What do y'all think? So we got the blue beetle in real life? What? I feel like RH negative is reptilians. This is an interesting one because we as humans are all part reptilian. We have the reptilian traits that are with all humans. So you have that reptilian brain and the part of the cortex, which is the same thing as a reptilian. You also had, used to have a third eye, which was on top of your head that works just like a lizard. Same exact thing or a reptilian. Now the penile gland is deep within here or the third eye is deep within there. So, you know, when you get into part lizards, it's interesting. Now you could think of this if you have iron blood and you have copper blood, you have two different types of species. So you have like birds with the iron blood and you have fish hmm. with the copper blood. So you have like the blue crabs, all the different fish with blue blood. So you have to think about it like you have an iron on this side and then that's more red blood. And then you have a blue blood, which is more copper based blood. So that could be more like a fish. So if you start to think about that, instead of thinking of it like a lizard, think more like a fish. That's trippy stuff there. I mean, I thought this was a tsunami at first. And I found out in the comments later that it's just from a storm surge. Like, that's a lot of water, y'all. You know, we need that out here in Texas. Pray for them. What if allegedly the CIA knows where the Ark of the Covenant is? So this doctor wrote the CIA asking about the Ark and all that stuff. And this is a receipt that was sent back to him saying, no, we don't know where it's at, dog. Sorry. Check this out. Project Sunstreak. It looks like they got the coordinates. Attained excellent site contact. Doing very well with stage four structure. Viewer also exhibits the ability to keep AOL to a minimum. Target is a container. This container has another container inside of it. The target is fashioned of wood, gold, and silver. Similar to the shape of a coffin. This target is protected by entities <clears throat> and can only be opened by those who are authorized to do so. 
This container will will. The target is protected by entities. What? See page fourteen, huh? Not and cannot be opened until the time is deemed correct. This is on CIA.gov, just so y'all know. I yeah, got some little notes here, you know, about it. Look right here. Boom, a little drawing. Yeah, look at that. How it is oh. open. Just what? saying, man. Go to the container and open it and describe it as you go. On part two, I'm going to talk about the Knights Templar and where all the art went, where it's at. Now, now it's in the Middle East, supposedly, but uh, we'll get there. Hey, shout out to the, uh, Mr. Clock Payne. Thank you, sir. Cube, 20 de enero de 2024. Hey, that UFO, and they must have had too much to drink. Holy shit! 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 Holy Golly, Fast and Furious, calm down, Toretto. Okay. Okay. Skill. Sheesh. Holy shit! He's a So I got this, boys. That's crazy. God, dog. He said, I already got the firehouse out and everything, y'all. Let's get to work, boys. Acabamos de ver un fenómeno no sabemos qué es. Onyx. A todo el mundo mirando. ¿Me entiende qué es lo que hay ahí? That's different. Hay algo muy extraño. What do you think that is? No, what is that coming down to? Whoa. January 18th, 2024, Louisiana. Caught on cam. Did I just film an alien probe deployment? What do y'all think about this one? UFO pie in London. Here we go, Project Bluebeam. Or, nah, it's drones. Check this out, you guys. This was caught over in Mexico. I don't know what this is, but it's some type of crap. Um, the lights are pretty weird. Look at that. Or, are those lights? It looks like some type of huge shift. Um, and it's cloaked. But it goes near the moon. Check it out. It looks like some type. Look at that, y'all. Hmm. That's a good one. Tries to zoom in. It goes black. That's that's weird, huh? Check it out. Look at that. Wow. Look at that, yo. Look at that. That's real close next to the moon. It's too far away. That's not a plane, y'all. That's not a... I don't know what that is. That's different. This is the second time that we've seen it. 
Doesn't that look similar? Yo, what if that's like a... What is it? Now there are two of them now. That's terrifying. What is that? Oh my... What is happening? Yo, that's crazy. Oh my god, what is that? That is nuts. What? I don't know what that is. Ready to just see one myself. Let them unveil it. Hey, thank y'all so much for tuning in to another Bryce is Right. Hey, hopefully y'all all have a great freaking week. Uh, be on the lookout. We're getting close to hitting that 10,000 mark. Y'all know that's the one I'm really wanting. Uh, we'll be giving out three more Bryce is Right t-shirts. So, of course, I'll be paying attention to all the comments, seeing which ones I like the most, you know, people that I've talked to frequently. Other than that, you know, just make sure you go ahead and smash that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already so you do not miss out on any future content. And just put that comment in there so you can uh, get your chance to win one of them Bryce's Right t-shirts. Hey, like I said, y'all have a good one. All right, y'all. Peace.